Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before, my name is Emma Tamsin Hill and you should subscribe down below because I know you like what you see already. Also, whilst you're here, turn the post notifications on, the little bell, ding, 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 so you can be notified when I upload because it's becoming a lot more frequent and I know I say that all the time, but I genuinely mean it and it feels weird doing this without any nails on. Don't look at them. Today we are back with an ASOS haul. So many of you ask for ASOS hauls all the time. They have one of the best ranges of plus size clothes. I feel like everything is very good quality. It looks good. They have a lot of choice. I got these pieces maybe like a month ago now and I've been wearing them non stop, especially the first piece we're going to talk about. Some of the clothes are behind us right now. I want to say thank you to ASOS because most of the clothes in this haul are gifted. They didn't like make me do a haul or anything like that. You guys just really wanted to see it. But yeah, some of them are gifted, some I bought myself. Also, I'm filming today with natural light. So here's hoping that it works out okay. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad or the sun doesn't go in and out. We'll see what happens. You know. Okay, let's just get on into it because I'm excited. Let's go. So, this is our first item and it's these mom jeans, mom jeans, <laughs> that I've been wearing non-stop. I've been wearing them so, so, so much. Um, my top is from PLT, by the way. I'm just gonna wear this with all the pants and skirts and stuff like that. And also, if you think my bra's popping out, that's because it is and I like it like that. <laughs> I think they're called like a balloon jean on the website. Like always, I will list everything down below, but this is them and I freaking love them. Like, I struggle really hard trying to find mum jeans. Let me put the camera up here because it's behind me. I struggle really hard when trying to find mum jeans because they never fit on my thighs or if they fit on my thighs or my legs, then it's too big on the waist. They don't sit right. Like, they don't, they're not baggy, you know what I mean? When you have really big thighs and tummy and butt and all the other things it's really hard to find jeans especially like mum jeans that fit how they are intended to so these are incredible they come with this belt um it's just like a little fabric belt with the little fastening right here and that's good because it really does keep the jeans up but when we're talking about how let me undo the belt and show you how big they are on my waist like i'd say like that big which is not bad compared to most mum jeans. And when I sit down, they feel really comfortable. They're not digging in. They're not gaping on the back. They're just really good. I can't put the belt back on. They're really, really comfy around the hips. Like there is wiggle movement, which most of the time there is not in these kind of jeans. The legs are also big. I just turn up the bottoms and they just look perfect. They're the best mum jeans I have ever, 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 ever tried. I think now they only have these left in a couple sizes, but they should bring them back for sure because they're the best mum jeans I've ever tried. And I've tried a few of ASOS's mum jeans and they haven't fit right. So this whole like balloon leg style, I think is the way to go. If you have like a big tummy and big thighs and you want to wear mum jeans. I'm into it. Next one. So the next thing is this shirt. I got this in a 2XL. By the way, the jeans are in a 24. I'll leave all of my sizes that I wore and everything down below anyway, so you can see. But yeah, I got this shirt. It's actually from Collusion. So that's like a brand on ASOS. As you can see here, it has a little Collusion. That is a brand on ASOS that is like created by like a bunch of contributors. My friend Antonia is part of the 2019 Collusion lineup. I really love it. So this is actually, I think it's like a men's shirt. Pretty much all of the Collusion clothes are unisex. They have like a plus size range and then also a straight size range. This is from the straight size range because they didn't do this in plus. They don't do as many items in plus as they do in straight size and I really liked it. So I got it in 2XL and it's very oversized. Like I wear it open but you easily could do it up if you wanted to or tie it in like a little, you know, one of these. That looks really cute with these pants. Yeah, I used to be very much into this style when I was younger. But yeah, it's really nice and oversized. It's just got stripes on it. It's like blue and red stripes. I've just cuffed it here as well. 
I like that it's really oversized because you could wear this with like cycling shorts or whatever you want and like if you wanted to cover your bum it's long enough. I feel like an art teacher in this combo but I like it I'm here for it. Next up is this skirt and this is actually by the brand called Glamorous that is on ASOS Curve. I think they have their own website and store and everything like that but they do not sell the plus size on their site. I don't know it must be exclusive to ASOS but I love it. I wore this on my birthday. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on there. What are you doing? And there was a picture of me wearing it on there on my birthday. And it's just really cute. So it's just this rust orange coloured. I, I want to say midi skirt, but it's kind of nearly to the floor. If you can, well, <laughs> if you can see there. It's kind of hitting me right at the top of my ankle, maybe a bit higher. Um, and it just has such a lovely shape to it. So I got a 24. It is a little bit big but it fits everywhere else nice and how i want it to fit it's not clinging here not clinging here it's comfortable to wear you know all of those things i just think it's so beautiful it's so flowy it's like silky material but it's not like you know that silky material that's like really shiny it's not very shiny which is also good it's just cute it has a little secret zip here i feel like this was so summery but it's also great to transition into autumn because you could definitely wear this with a jumper and a jacket yeah i love this a lot next are these joggers which are by a brand called new girl order i've had some t-shirts from them before they're really cute slogan t-shirts and hoodies and stuff they sell them on their own website as well as asos and these are really really soft so they're just like a black jogger material and they have these two like lime green dragons right here these are like really oversized as well so they're not tight at all they are soft material they have this little new girl order like sort of like do you remember what was the brand called everlast do you remember that boxing brand everlast that used to have like this on stuff i really like this and it looks really cute the only thing that i'm not so sure about about these is the ankle is elasticated but it's really big so like i don't know if you'll be able to see but like the ankle is so large and in charge so you might have to like fold them up a couple times if you don't want it to be so big also one more thing is i've worn these before and i've washed them and the first time i wore them the fluff on the inside of the jogger got absolutely everywhere like it was all over my legs all over my butt all over everywhere i went to the toilet went for a wee wiped and there was like black fluff everywhere so that is something to keep in mind until you wash them the fluff will go everywhere from the inside of the jogger yeah they are very very comfy and soft and nice and i will definitely be wearing these a lot you could easily pair this with a little cute jumper maybe one like this you know to match you know the all body more self love Ooh. this is coming back by the way for everyone that's been asking me about it the more self love sweat is coming back in all body if you're new here, All Body is my clothing brand. We go from size small to 5XL and we ship worldwide. And we're all about inclusivity and love and, you know, all those things. So yeah, this is coming back and it's coming back in a longer version. Also, it's coming back in grey. This is the grey one. Cute, right? Long story short, these joggers are cute, but beware of the fluff. Next is this little dress and it's by the brand Club L London and this is what I initially wanted to wear on my birthday but when it arrived like it's cute enough down but I just wished it was a little bit longer it's kind of short for me like with this style of like slip dress I kind of want it to be hitting me mid calf and this one comes just below my knees but it's really beautiful nonetheless it's like this navy colour you can see it so much better now it's like the shiny satin fabric has a bit of a cowl neck i wish that was a bit deeper but i might have to adjust the straps to get it to look how i want it to it does have spaghetti straps i've just got my little bra that on hence why it looks bigger so you probably want to wear it with no bra or a strapless bra again it has um a concealed zip but i just put it over my head and it fits fine so i don't have to faff about with all that it looks like it's kind of um like ruffly on the hem i don't know if it just needs an iron but it looks kind of ruffled on the hem if you can see what i mean again the back just has these two straps not much to say about it it is really classy and really beautiful i just wish it was longer that's like my only thing like decide what you are because this is such an awkward length it's like you either need to be shorter or like longer but maybe it's just because i'm tall but i love the fabric it feels so luxurious 
this is the next dress and it is something a little wild but i really love it nonetheless so it's just this mini dress um has these little puff cap sleeves so like these bits are elasticated here and it's got a little cap sleeve it's kind of in the style of like um like a chinese kind of dress i don't really know what this style of dress is actually called but you know with the little like wrap and then these little beautiful ceilings like this you can't open this at all like it's a, there's a zip at the back again i just put it over my head and hope for the best it has a little slit right here which is a little sexy yeah and the back is like this and obviously the main thing is the bright green zebra print with the pink piping i love the contrast of the pink and the green the only thing about this for me is that it's a little bit too short i don't know if i could actually wear this out because obviously because it has the slit as well it's very short especially at the back it's not ridiculous short but i wouldn't feel comfortable going out in just this i would probably have to wear like a pair of cycling shorts under it and just to, you know protect my modesty but i feel like this is such a fit like if you just want to turn heads this is the dress for you. I thought this was way shorter when I first tried it on. It's not actually that bad. Just needs like a little bit of a booty short underneath it. Again, this is very comfortable. And it was also that satiny fabric. It does have a bit of stretch in it. It does have a bit of stretch. It's comfortable. It is comfortable. All the clothes I've tried on so far have been comfortable and not restricting or too tight or anything like that. Okay, so this is our next dress, and this is the first time I'm trying this on, and I kind of like like it, but I don't know what to think about it, because it has this elasticated waist right here, but then it also has this little band that is quite tight and restricting, so I can't, it feels like it should be pulled down, do you know what I mean? But obviously that does not look right because my waist is here, not here. So when I bring this up to my waist, is it supposed to like fold over like this? I don't know. I would wear it like this. You know but it is a really beautiful dress so it's kind of like this linen fabric with all of these little details into the linen then it has these little stripes of crochet a little like puffball sleeve with this elasticated wrist with the little um you know ruffle wrist which i really like again it has this like crochet detail on the hem and all over there's a lot of detail on it and it has this little tie neck situation it's shorter at the back than it is at the front which is like kind of worrying the dress does have lining under it so it has this little lining right here but i do have a black bra on and you can kind of see it so you would want to wear skin colored or white underwear with this because it will show through it's just that kind of fabric like linen always shows through whatever you have under it I really like it though. I think it's really, really cute. I feel very country. I don't know, like a little house on the prairie. I don't even know. Is that a scary movie? I don't even know. I feel very cute seeing this, like a little girl. It's very summery and summer's kind of gone now, but I feel like this would be great for holiday. I might keep it. I'm going to Jamaica in November and I feel like this will be cute there. The length on the front is kind of perfect for like a short dress for me because I'm quite tall, but the back, yeah it is shorter at the back that's bothering me because i can feel the wind up my bum crack this material itself does not have any stretch but the dress is made big enough so that it's like cute and oversized and the waist is elastic like i said before so yeah next one this is our last clothing item we have a few accessories so yeah it's our last clothing item and it is this paisley satin little dress moment literally i have so many satin things in this haul i don't know why i just like how it feels um <laughs> where do i start with this so it's a maxi dress so it goes all the way down to the floor on me it's kind of well it goes to the top of my ankle but it's kind of cut like this around here so it's kind of higher on the ankle you can't really see but um yeah you might be able to see on the product picture it's kind of cut like this not in a very aggressive way but it's definitely like longer at the front and back and a little bit higher on the ankle if you can see it's like green and pink and white and black there's a lot going on so let me show you the chest i have my little bralette on and i think with this kind of dress you would really want to wear a proper supportive bra because this is very like fitted around this chest area because it does have like these cut out cups here if you can see 
So you would probably want to wear a bra that filled that out properly to make it look how it is supposed to look. This bit is way too big for me though, like the chest area is way too big. So the hips and waist and everything fits me well, but they obviously think that like most women who are 24 have big chests. And unfortunately, I'm not one of them girls. The chest bit is very big. If you have big tatas, you're going to be okay with this. But because of that, like the shoulders are very loose on me. I don't know. Oh, you could, you could wear it like this. Is it supposed to be worn like this? You could wear it off the shoulder. Oh, did I just discover something? You could wear it off the shoulder, I guess, or on the shoulder. Because when I wear it on the shoulder, yeah, like it falls down. So maybe it's supposed to be worn like kind of off the shoulder. But these bits are elastic. But either way, I think they are too big on me, on, on this size. Like the shoulder bits are too big. Can you see how they're falling down, like all the way down? To combat that, you have these elastic bits here and you can tie kind of like a bow in this bit in the arm so that the arm is tight onto your arm which I can't really do by myself. You kind of need a, an assistant to help you do this. So I guess it's kind of like that. But even so, that still makes it fall down for me. So it has these little stringy bits that you can tie yourself to make tight, which, you know, would look very cute. Let me try and do it. Overall, I love the dress and I think it's beautiful, but it's just too big on the chest and the shoulder area for me. Oof. It does have like a concealed zip all the way down here that you can do up. I love it. I love the colour so much. The material, the print. It's just this whole situation that's like throwing me off. I just would love that to be a bit more tight and fitted so that it stay up, you know? Finally, we have two pairs of shoes and a bag. So let's start with the bag. This is a little like kind of, it's like a 90s style bag because it's kind of small, but it has these, I don't even know what it has on it, mate. But it's kind of like this japanese kind of print. It has like dragons. It's like red and purple and green and black. And it is satin again. <laughs> it has these little pockets here. So as you can see, got two little pockets here. And then there's a big pocket here. And the main detail is this big snake zip. I love it. I just love it so much. I've been wearing this with everything and I'm not really that much of a bag person, but this has made me want to get into bags some more because it is beautiful. It fits under my shoulder nice, like most bags don't really fit under my shoulder that well and I think like, what the hell is going on? But that fits nice under my shoulder or you can hold it because it's kind of that length where you can just hold it in your hand um, and it'll still look cute. The bag is actually very big. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. It looks very small, but you can fit a lot of stuff in here. I absolutely love it. <laughs> now onto shoes so let's start with like the more of a summery shoe i got these shoes these are both from the wifi collection by the way i got these sandals because i am going away like i said and this is what they look like it's kind of like a flat form sandal they're not that thick but it is kind of thick <laughs> kind of thick it's like a birkenstock kind of but like a more reinvented kind of industrial Birkenstock. So it has these like fake leather straps over here and these little buckle ring details here. The only thing that I don't like about this is you cannot adjust them. So even if you made it smaller or bigger, it makes no difference because obviously the leather is there and the con cannot be adjusted. Whereas with Birkenstocks, you can kind of adjust how wide they are. So with that being said, these do not fit me that that great. I do have really, really wide feet, but these are kind of tight. I think you could definitely stretch them. I've kind of put a cut away of the shoes, but they don't fit me that well. And I got my size and everything, and if they were wider, they would fit me properly. This is the issue with like wide fit shoes sometimes. Like they just aren't that wide fit. I don't know if I've just got freakishly large feet or what but they don't really fit me that well you know maybe if my foot shrunk a bit who knows where we will be and lastly i got these boots now these boots are so freaking beautiful and i've never really seen anything like this for wide feet oof so this is them 
So they are just like a western-y kind of style pair of boots. They're kind of a strange shape, but I like that. They're very like fashion. So they have like a pointed toe and it has this little funny shaped heel. So it kind of looks like a wedge, but there is a gap in between here. So it's kind of like this crazy shaped heel. Not too big at all. Definitely like a day boot. Um, all of this is elastic so that is really going to help you get your foot in there if you have big ankles or big feet in general that's going to help you so it's like cut off here as you can see like this is like i'm not i think this is fake leather definitely this is faux leather and um this you know stretchy stuff but they look really expensive and really high end but they actually were not that expensive for boots i think they were like 35 pound 40 pound i'm not sure like i said everything will be down below but they're beautiful they have like a little leather detail on the back here and i just think they're gorgeous and they kind of hit me like at the top of my ankle like it's kind of a high-ish boot but not too high they're really comfy they're really beautiful i just love them and i think i'll be definitely getting a lot of wear out of these in the autumn and winter time so that was absolutely everything that i had to show you today from asos that i've got recently i really hope you enjoyed the video as always let me know what your favorite piece was down below let me know if you enjoyed the video and let me know what you want to see next you know as always thank you so much for supporting your girl for being here for watching for subscribing for following me on instagram you know it really means the world and i hope you've been enjoying the vlogs i've decided i'm weekly vlogging now so i've done two already and there'll be another one coming this sunday so make sure you're watching those next time i see you i'll have nails praise the lord yes i'm gonna go now so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye guys <laughs>